when you're an artist and you're making whatever it is you're making, I think the mission is to walk to it as vulnerable as possible so that somebody will be able to connect to it. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. It was in a house full of women. It was my mother, my grandmother, my older sister. My aunt would come by a lot. There was a similar thing that they all had, which was a lot of strength, a lot of pride, a lot of integrity, a nice amount of sass and swag too. I know a lot of kids watch television, but I really felt like I was immersed in it. I watched like A Different World, The Cosby Show, Saved by the Bell, Fresh Prince. Even though they were multi-camp sitcom characters, they still felt very honest and real, and I just kind of got lost in all those different kind of worlds. Getting a chance to work for all these talented Black women were just sort of playing hacky sack with me for a couple of years. Just being the most excited person on set and having a really great attitude and there being nothing that I would say no to doing, it was really the beginning of my life, you know, in scripted television. I went to New York to talk story ideas with Alan Aziz and some of the other writers. And in the midst of just having a conversation, Alan asked uh, how I came out and I proceeded to tell them, not thinking it was that interesting. And I got back to my hotel and they both called me and said, we want to do an episode about that. And Aziz was like, you have to help write it because it's so specific and it's your story and I can't write that by myself. I'm gay. You, what? I'm gay. I've always been gay. But I'm still the same person. I'm still your daughter. Telling the coming out story, I, I had to step in my mother's shoes as well. And I think it actually gave me a greater understanding of what it's like to be come out too. It was about telling an honest story about two people who are trying to figure something out. And I think that's what most, you know, coming out stories are. I really want people to see the love more than the fear or confusion. And I think they really got it. My LGBTQTIA family, I see each and every one of you. The things that make us different, those are our superpowers. Every day when you walk out the door, put on your imaginary cape and go out there and conquer the world because the world would not be as beautiful as it is if we weren't in it. I do think the things that make me different are my superpowers because there is no Thanksgiving episode if I wasn't born black, gay, and female. The Shy is about being black and human on the south side of Chicago. It's not about drugs, nobody's singing or rapping. I was more interested in the middle class, the working class community, because that's what I'm from. When you're a working class person with a dream, it's like a pressure cooker because every day is a choice to fight the good fight, to chase the dream. I know we're not perfect, but we're not all bad either. There's always these demons that we're wrestling with, and I wanted to show that in a real way. So that way, people start to care about these communities and these people that make them up. I think there's a lot of storytellers that don't look like the storytellers of yesteryear. A lot of young, black, queer, different people that have never been a part of the culture in a mainstream way. That's the way I want to change the business, is by helping to usher in new voices. There's still a lot of others who haven't been included yet, and so until everyone is in the room, I think we still have work to do.